In this video, we're going to combine a few of the movements together. We're going to play with some shoulder in, little leg yield, and the turnaround. And we're going to play with it in an exercise. It's kind of like uh, the shape of a, a bow tie. And the reason why we're doing that is to really help to get some bend and flexibility through the rib cage. Start getting the horse to engage the inside hind. So I'm on um, Decree here. She's a six-year-old Oldenburg. And so she's, she has a real hard time flexing through the rib cage and engaging her back. And that came, the problem came out in the canter. Whenever she would canter, she'd want to kind of buck and switch switch in the hind and, and she just wasn't real strong and engaging. So this exercise was really helpful for that. And so how we're going to do that is, is we're along the fence here. We're going to walk along the fence and as we're going down the fence we're going to do a little counter shoulder in. So that's to the rail asking the hind to come off and then we're going to turn that into a little bit of a leg yield. It's kind of a shoulder and leg yield combination. And then I'm going to ask for her to bring her front end back around to the rail. So we're not going to come off of the rail that far. And now I change the bend to the rail, little counter shoulder in. Shift my weight to the inside, ask her to leg yield a little bit, not too far, that's good. And now I'm going to ask the front end to step around the whole time I want the walk rhythm to stay. So I'm walking forward, counter shoulder in, then a little leg yield out just a little bit so I have enough room to do the turnaround, asking the front to come through and back the other way. So again, we're down, walking down the rail little counter shoulder in. I'm asking the hind to step up and over. She wants to kind of go right into the leg yield. I don't want her. And now I'm going to just shift off a little bit, a little leg yield. And then, so she's, it's not a true leg yield. The hind end's a little bit more over. She's, she's really in a counter shoulder in as we're shifting over a little bit. And it's just giving enough space between me and the fence to where then I can say move your front end around. So we're getting her as we're doing the, the shoulder into leg yield, she's stepping her inside hind up and underneath, getting that to come up. And then in the turnaround, we're saying, okay, now bring your front end around as you engage the inside hind. So we're kind of here. I do my turnaround, so I want her to keep that walk going so she still keeps engaging the inside hind. Then we walk straight for a little bit, change the bend to the outside, a little counter shoulder in here. Just shift my weight to the inside of the arena for a little leg yield. There we go. Keep the walk going. Don't let her stall out. And bring the front end around the, the hind end. So it's an exercise to really get control over both the hind end. So shoulder, counter shoulder in here is saying move that hind end over. Leg yield is saying move your whole body over. The turnaround is saying Bring your front end around there. Much better. She slowed down, died out a little bit, but a lot better. So again, get control of the hind end. She wants to leave her with her whole body. I'm saying, no, no, not yet. Now leg yield a little, the whole body. And now the front end. Oh, she kind of stalled out. And it's not about, in the turnaround, it's not about moving the hind around the front. It's about the front moving around the hind end. And front end coming around, coming around. Not too bad there. Change the band. 
counter shoulder in, stay on the rail, then shift my weight in, ask for a tiny leg yield, and now bring the front end over, but don't stall out, don't stall out there. If she wants to kind of die, so I just tap her with the whip. Counter shoulder in, say move that hind end over, move it over, there, and then I leg yield just a little bit, good, and ask the front to come, yeah, this, that was pretty nice, so front end came around, I changed the bend, shoulder, or counter shoulder in here, Shift my weight in, a little leg yield, and ask for that front to come over. And I'm gonna keep asking her just a whole circle here. And I'm gonna put my whip actually on the outside shoulder here. Say, step around, thank you very much. Keeping her soft in my hands. I want her to get soft and round and engaged, so counter shoulder in, shift my weight over, a little leg yield, and bring your front end around. There, she kind of just died out on me, so I activated. Now, counter shoulder in, a little leg yield, good, and turn around. And that time I tapped her on the shoulder saying, come on, pay attention to me. So when I ask for the front end and I'm asking for, if I'm bringing the front end around this way, is as I'm opening my hand here a little bit, closing the outside hand a little bit. Don't, it's not this, because that's going to cause her to flex the out to the outside. We want the inside rein keeps the bend. The outside rein kind of comes on and says move the shoulder over. My outside leg comes on a little bit to say move that front end over there. Thank you very much. Move that front end over. That was good. So in the counter shoulder in, I'm using my inside leg say move your hind end over. Leg yield, I'm just shifting my weight. Now I change from this leg to this leg saying keep the walk, move your front end over. So now I'm using my left leg, the rail leg, to say shoulder, counter shoulder in, shift my weight in, change my rail leg to my outside leg of the turn, come on, she comes around nicely and that was good. This way here is where it's harder. So get her to bend and flex to the rail. Little counter shoulder in, wait, and then shift my weight in a little leg yield to now move your front end around. Don't stall out. Thank you very much. Now, I'm adding three of these pieces together. So if, if you're having trouble with any one of these pieces, go back to the previous videos that will talk just on that exercise. So if you're having trouble with your counter shoulder in, go back and watch the counter shoulder in videos. If it's the turnaround, go back and watch that. So you want to have those pieces before you put them all together here. So this is a great exercise. And it's not something you just come out here and spend a ton of time with. You might spend a few minutes on it, 10 minutes at the most. Or, you know, I hate to put a time limit on it, but it's more about do it until you get a change and then go on into something else. So it isn't an exercise in an end of itself. It's an exercise to help your horse prepare to go do something else. And it's just combining a few elements, but it really helps to get the inside engaged. You're getting control over that hind end, getting control over the whole body and the leg yield. Turn around, you're getting control over the front end. So it's isolating each piece out and playing with that. So go on out there, play with it, and let me know how it's working for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.